Hello friends, after RIP and OSPF dynamic routing protocol, in this video we are going to configure the network with the help of an advanced dynamic routing protocol that is EIGRP. It was initially developed by the Cisco to be used with the Cisco routers but later it was declared open source to be used with all other routers. So let's start. It is enhanced interior gateway routing protocol and it works on the network layer of OSI protocol suit. As a difference, here the, here the only updated information is propagated among the neighboring routers means they are not circulating the complete routing tables to their neighboring routers. This will make the routing fast and also it is reducing the routing protocols load on the network. So this is the, uh, we can say that faster version of the dynamic routing protocols. Here we are going to use the same three network that we have used for other dynamic routing protocols as well. So uh, here we have three networks comprising of one host each network and the, they are connected via the routers. So here the routers are communicating with other networks with the help of routing means we need to define the routing for that. So here you may have multiple networks multiple hosts in a network or you may have the router connected to more than one networks. So you can have any type of configuration but we are using this configuration for our practical implementation and this will be our fourth network and this will be our fifth network. So for every network you need to define a separate network ID and just to keep the thing simple I am using class A addressing for every network. So for this network I am going to use 10 as the network ID. And for this network, 20 as a network ID and this as a 30 as a network ID of this network. And here we have the network ID 40 and for this network we have the network ID 50. Okay. Similarly, I am going to use the host IDs as 10.1.1.1 for the first host of the system of the network and the gateway as 10.1.1.2. Similarly, for this network as well, I am having this as the host ID 20.1.1.1. Similarly, the gateway will be 20.1. Gateway will be 20.1.1.2. Similarly, here for this network, the gateway will be 30.1.1.2. Two. Okay, so for these two net uh, host means these routers are acting as the host of this network 40. So these routers are also need to define IP addresses of the network 40 and for this connection we need to define IP addresses of network 50 that we will be uh, assigning them while configuring the routers in the Cisco packet tracer. So here first task is to configure the routers for their directly connected networks means router 0 for network 10, router 1 for network 20 and router 2 for network 30. So let's quickly configure the routers in Cisco packet tracer. Here we have already added the labels and the routers. Here I am using router PT as it is having 4 fast ethernet port and 2 serial ports enough for our configuration. So let's start, let's make the remaining connection. Here I am going to join this switch with the router at fast ethernet 0 slash 0. Similarly, these are also, uh, these router are also connected with fast ethernet 0 slash 0 port with the networks. So let's configure the network uh, host. So for this host, I have already assigned the IP address, but you need to check it. So here I am assigning the network ID as uh, IP address as 10.1.1.1 and the gateway as this 1.1.2 okay so you may cho choose any address of the network 10 or you may use class B or class C addressing or class less addressing so whatever you feel comfortable you can assign IP addresses but make sure the network and the gateway address must belong to the same network now after this We need to configure the router for this network and for this we need to configure the router at fast ethernet 0 slash 0. You can also use a command line mode. So just enter the gateway. So here the gateway is 10.1.2 and the subnet mask done. So this router is configured. So let's check the configuration of second host 
or we can say that host of the network 2. Here the IP address is 20.1.1.1 and the gateway is this. Now quickly configure the router for this host at fast ethernet 0 slash 0 turn it on and provide the gateway. So gateway is 20.1.1.2 done for the third host or the first host of the network third network here the IP address is 30.1.1.1 as I have already labeled here you can check the labels so here the gateway is 30.1.1.2 done so these are the gateway that I have provided as labels these are the gateway so now router for this network third network with ID 30 configure it for fast ethernet 0 slash 0 turn it on now I am adding the gateway. So gateway for this third network is added and done. Okay, these labels are indicating gateways. So the, the uh, this last router is still booting, but we can check the connections for rest of the routers and success from host to router. We should check this before starting routing for any mistake if we have made. Okay, now last we need to check for the third host to router 2 and we got the success means our routers are uh, perfectly configured for their connected networks. Now we need to make the routers connection. So here I am connecting the network 40 with serial 2 slash 0 and for network 50 I am going to use serial 3 slash 0 ok so this these two ports or these two uh, interfaces are serial 2 slash 0 and these two interfaces are serial 3 slash 0 so let's just configure the routers for their neighboring routers serial 2 slash 0 this is uh, having only one router connection serial 2 slash 0 add now add an IP address of network 40 so I am adding this you may choose any other IP address now the second router or the router labeled as router 1 is having two more connection it is already configured for this network two more connection at serial 2 slash 0 and at serial 3 slash 0 so for serial 2 slash 0 turn it on and provide the IP address of the remaining IP address of the network 40 because this is in this is uh, this port is connected with network 40 now for serial 3 slash 0 it is coming under network 50 so we need to provide the IP address of network 50 50.1.1.1 done and the last router we need to configure is for serial 3 slash 0 and assign the IP address of network 50 unused IP address now done so there must be the uh, communication possible for these routers so let's check router 0 to router 1 success from router 1 to router 2 and we got the success that means the routers are configured for the neighboring routers done now we need to define routing because if we try something or packet data unit from router 0 to router 2 then we will get a failure ok because they are routing is not defined then routers are unaware of their net of the networks connected to their neighboring routers means route this router is not able to communicate with this router ok so for that you need to define the routing and this time we are going to use the EIGRP routing protocol so for that like RIP we need to take care of directly connected networks only as this router 0 is directly connected to two networks only 10 and 40. So we need to define the routing commands for these two networks only for that you need to open the command line interface of this router because you are configuring this router for uh, for EIGRP protocol after that you need to write enable command from the user execution mode and then you can write the config terminal command to enter the global configuration mode and if you are in sub configuration mode then you can exit from that mode to enter global configuration mode ok if you have any doubts related to these commands then you can check another video the link is given in the description box 
Now with EIGRP protocol unlike OSPF we need to define the same ID for all the routers okay so here you can choose any number you can choose any number between 1 to 65535 okay you can choose any number i am choosing 10 as a uh, id for this eigrp protocol so you need to define the same number for router 1 and router 2 as well now for these directly connected network i i need to simply write the network command as network network 1 uh, 1010.0.0 now for another network as well we need to define the same command but this time network id is network 40.0.0.0 okay so let us just quickly configure make uh, run these configuration commands on the cisco packet tracer for router 0 for open the router 0 for cli mode as we have already configured in gui mode so we are in sub configuration mode so exit now as we are defining routing for EIGRP so router EIGRP ID is 10 you can keep any number but you need to keep the same number for all routers next we need to define the network network as direct like directly connected network at 10.0.0 done and next repeat the command for network 40 okay so these two commands were required only these two commands were required for router 0 as it has only two direct network connections right so you can copy this command for another router as well now for next router or we can say that router 1 router labeled as router 1 we have three direct connect 20 40 and 50 okay so unlike ospf as we are not defining any area so we need to simply go to command line interface mode but this time keep the same id okay so i am keeping as same uh, id as 10 now uh, one command for network 20 another command for network 40 and last command for network 50 simple so move to router 1 open in command line interface mode exit from sub configuration mode otherwise you need to enter to global configuration mode uh, now router eigrp keep the same id as 10 now the first network the router connected is 20 so i am using paste command now first network is 20 i am configuring it for 20 next i am going to configure it for the 40 so network 40 but as you run the command for network 40 as i am going to run the command for this network 40 you will get a message that it has discovered some adjacent router so this protocol is taking or uh, defining the routes itself based on the matrices means they they already form the matrix uh, depending on the available routes and the uh, other parameters so here when we run the command for 40 and we have already run the command for network 40 from router 0 so it will discover a connection and show you a message of the uh, adjacent adjacent neighbor so here we get the new adjacency message that means it has discovered a neighbor on this network it has already discovered the uh, router 1 has discovered router 0 as a neighboring router okay now last we need to configure it for network 50 and done okay so all the commands for router 1 are complete similarly for the third or the uh, router labeled as router 2 we have two direct connection 30 and uh, with network 30 and 50 so we need to write the same eigrp router protocol with the id 10 and run two commands for network 30 and network 50 so let's just quickly configure it so router 2 open in cli mode now enter global configuration mode eigrp and id same same as 10 now uh, it will discover a adjacency neighbor adjacency router for network 50 but not for network 30 so let's try here i am 
running the command for network 31st and after that I am running the command for network 50 and this time it is going to from this system it is going to discover a neighboring router okay and it will show the message like discovering new adjacency so it has discovered the neighboring router means it has defined the matrix for their route okay so the configuration of all the routers are done so let's try the packet sending the packet data unit you can also check by uh, the ping command from one router from one host uh, of the one network to another host of another network so let's try sending a packet data unit from router 0 to router 2 and we got the success that means our host are also able to communicate within network so let's try sending from the first host to the third host of third network done so that means our configuration is perfect so let's try send something from the host of third network to the host of first network and we got the success you can also demonstrate it with the help of simulation so here so that's it as I have sent from the uh, host of the third network so it is this is the source and this is the destination so that's it for this video hope you learned something from this video bye and take care see you in the next video You can check the complete simulation it will also uh, revert by sending the acknowledgement from the source to destination. So acknowledgement received, so bye and take care.